amazing shot there from the Dominican Republic. Chinese having no chance and we're back to a very close one point set. Marcos Krieg, the uh, Dominican coach, is uh, Brazilian, so his native tongue is Portuguese, the Dominicans speak Spanish. So we hope there's not a lack of, lack of communication there. I'd, I'd say he probably his somehow gets his, uh, gets his message across, but uh, he's been at the helm of the Dominican Republic since May 2008. was gu guiding them to eighth place in the Grand Prix that year. And uh, up against it this evening, I think against his chi Chinese team. Well, classic block by China, and that brings up uh, set point. Superb, really getting out wide. Good coverage. So Chen, the serve again, a crucial serve for China to go two up. Not quite. The Dominicans aren't letting them uh, off the hook that easily. Martinez from the back of the court. She's had one or two wayward serves this evening. And this is, she's... yeah, it's a real pressure serve for her. And she's played safe. There it is again, and they have taken the second set. 25 to 22, and a dominant lead now by China in this best of five set encounter against the Dominican Republic. Blancpain presents Marketplace is brought to you by Blancpain. Welcome to Marketplace. Mounting concern... The, uh, the number one veteran of this side, born in 1975. Nice get by China. It's all getting messy there, and that point goes to the Dominican Republic. China all, all the way, but uh, again, a little bit scrappy uh, in the centre court. De La Cruz will serve. <laughs> and uh, in this third set, China have just come out a lot more aggressively, They're just a lot sharper at the net. And uh, certainly showing in the score. Just easing away again for the Dominican Republic. And could be over very quickly. What magic can the, the Brazilian coach conjure up for his Dominican players? Atmosphere here at the Coliseum. 
everyone pleased to be here. It's the weekend, and uh, everyone excited to be seeing Chai play so well. See the steep banking. Well, that's not the sort of uh, play that the Dominicans uh, would usually pride themselves on. Yep, touching the net by China. Dominicans were very lucky there. Very defensive in their play. As you say, Andrew, not really the uh, attacking prowess that we would not normally expect from them. At this stage of the game, every little point counts. 17-13. caught a Chinese hand on the way through. Let's see. Yes, it did. Element of luck. But uh, they all count. And uh, just three points in it now. Team 14. It's been up and down. China goes ahead. The Dominicans chase. They get close. But there's a consistent pattern here. And it's going the way of China. Again, very sloppy in the net by the Dominicans, but they won, won the point. Wang again, very strong. Oh, I tell you, both these sides of getting. I've been getting your way too close to the net for comfort. Point to China that time. Like a touch on the net, but obviously yeah. the referee didn't see it. So it's those little points that all add up. job for a coach at this stage of the game for a side that uh, looks like they're on the way out to at least just try and keep them motivated try and keep them in there no matter what I mean they, they have no other option but it, it's not the easiest thing to do no it's not and uh, obviously you would like to believe that over over five sets you could claw two two sets back but uh, as you say I think China have just been too too organized and just that little bit better um, and always just staying ahead one one or one or two points And again, a defensive mistake at, that, at the net. Allowed China to capitalize on that. Twenty-one sixteen, but the uh, 
Dominicans still have a bit of a mountain to climb. So, for the Dominican Republic, on comes Rosie Dahina Burgos. Herrera, a very long name. Yeah, one, two, three, four names in all. He didn't make a serve any better. And uh, another point to China. Again, really not like the Dominican Republic that we, we, we know. Um, not really very aggressive at the net. And uh, really allowing China to capitalize on those, on those errors. Well, certainly in the past, John, the Dominicans have, have really pushed the Chinese much, much harder than this. And I think you, you said it earlier, the, the Chinese just look to have some confidence. Um, they look relaxed, whereas the Dominican team uh, they already look like, like they're defeated. Um, and they basically look, look like that from the, from the time that they walked on the court. So it's got to be a lot for demeanor. And, uh... A little lapse in concentration. Um... Absolutely. But again, the, the, it's, it's almost always the latter stages in the game when you see these sorts of serves. Yes, we've seen this consistently in, in, in basically the third set in both, in both matches. Points to China. That caught, um, caught the uh, hand of one of the Dominicans right up near the net, in fact, but there was so much power on that. Look at this. Oh, as we watch it from the start. Boom, off one of the blockers. And there was plenty of pace from Wang to uh, send that careering over the end. Just two points away from victory now, China. Well, how did they miss that one? A little bit of luck on the Dominican side there. A little bit too little, too late. One fears. We've got uh, Bithana De La Cruz. Goes for power. And it works against them this time as well. And that gives China a match point. Oh, that was not a great setup from the Dominicans at all. China doing well, though, to keep this one in play. And there's the final put away. Match point goes the way of China. And with a 25 18 scoreline, they wrap up uh, this encounter in three straight sets. Yes, China winning there with relative ease. Um, never were really troubled apart from the early stages of the first set um, and just got better and better and more organized and a little bit more power at the net and uh, I think it was a thoroughly deserved victory. Well, perhaps China just went in with the right attitude again coming on to court. Yeah, they know that they're adored in Hong Kong. They're very, very used to the reception they get here. And uh, because of that, they just, they, they thoroughly enjoy it. When they first came out, they were smiling, laughing. They looked relaxed. They, they looked uh, very well bonded as a team. And uh, just all of that put together alone was a very, very good omen for this match before it even started. Yes, and that will go a long, a long way to erasing that loss, loss to Russia in uh, the last Grand Prix series. So, victory here to China at the Coliseum. A good way to start off this weekend of action in Hong Kong.
Thanks very much for joining us. See you again tomorrow.